Hey everybody, check that out. I am uh, I was sitting in the car waiting for my wife to grab some groceries and I look out my window and I met Brad and Brad has a bird right there. Brad, tell us a little bit about what that is. Uh, you're looking at a male Harris's hawk. You would find them in the southern Arizona area, Tucson, Arizona. They're a desert bird. It's an orange desert. You'll see Harris's hawks in the wild up to Phoenix, but throughout Mexico. In California, you'll see them down around the Yuma, Arizona area. Uh, again, they don't like cold weather. Wow. So, and, and you were telling me there's a purpose that you're out here at night. So we are working getting rid of the crows in the community. Uh, I'm with a company we've been contracted by the city to make the crows go someplace else. <laughs> They've been making a mess in the evenings whenever they yeah. come in to roost. Wow. So he was saying that the parking lot used to be just covered with white mess and... He looks pretty active right now. So what do you do? Do you let him go and he flies around? And so he'll fly around and I have a laser that's in the car that yeah. I'll point and he's trained to fly to where that laser is. And he has equated that to equaling food. So he knows when he goes to where the laser is pointed, he can come back to my glove right here. Wow. And get a little bit of food. Wow. Are you ready for the laser, or did you need to wait a little bit? Or? Uh, well, actually, I have another bird ready. Uh-oh. Uh, to, really? To work, because we have telemetry on the birds that track <clears throat> the bird where they're flying in case yeah. they decide to fly off to the next town. Oh, wow. See where they go. Interesting. So wow. He's a uh, four-year-old Harris's hawk. A neat thing about raptors, hawks, falcons, eagles is the females are always larger than the male. Wow. So I have a female Harris's hawk. Whoa. What was that noise? Fourth uh, of July? Fourth of July. Hopefully. Um, who knows? Who knows? Who okay. Knows? It's, it's in a big town. <laughs> who knows? But, yeah. Uh, the mm. females can be twice as big as the male. Wow. Is that a female or a male? And this is a male. So it's a little. Wow. Bigger. So the female is even bigger than him. Right. And if you're lucky and you're driving down through Tucson, you'll see a Segura cactus. You can see three or four of these hawks, Harris's hawks, standing on one of his back. It's called backstanding. Backstanding. The female's always on top. But, of course, in the wow. desert, there are not a lot of places to, to perch. So wow. So they're perching on each other. They're perching on each other. That is incredible. On each other's shoulders. Wow. And so the crows do not like this kind of bird. Exactly. The crows are coming into the different towns to uh, roost or sleep at night because they've determined that's a safe place where there are no threats so yeah we're employed to fly the hawks around and make them think differently about the town <laughs> the area. yeah the time they flap a wing <clears throat> they're uh, burning calories so, yeah so whoa burn a lot of calories the there to, uh, yeah eating throughout the day to get all the calories and they go to sleep at night and yeah we want to do is fly around town all night wow well thank you for taking your time to talk to us and uh i'm darren carter and Check it out on YouTube, Brad Darren Carter. Carter. And with uh, Integrated Avian Solutions. Awesome. We Thank you so much. State. Thank you. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Wow. Good boy. <laughs>